In this video, I'm going to share how to separate an image into a luminosity and a color layer. This will allow us to apply adjustments targeted for luminosity or color with interesting results. Let's kick off by creating a luminosity layer first. I will need a duplicate of the image. To create a luminosity or a color layer, we will also need a gray fill layer. After the fill layer is added, let's make sure it's pure gray, meaning that the hue and saturation should be zero and the luminosity 50, if you're using a color wheel. To get the luminosity layer, I'm going to move the gray fill layer so it becomes a clipped child and then set its blend mode to color. The result will be our luminosity layer. Time to create the color layer. The process is very similar. We need a copy of the image and a gray fill layer, which will need to be clipped again as a child. Instead of using the color blend mode, we need to set the blend mode to luminosity for the gray fill layer, which results in the color layer. By the way, I could also have duplicated the luminosity layer and modified the blend mode of the gray fill layer. That would probably have been faster. Anyway, now that we have a color and luminosity layers, let's blend them together so we get the original image back. The blending is actually quite straightforward. At the bottom we have a black and white layer and we need to colorize it with a color layer. And which blend mode can we use? Of course the color blend mode is exactly what we need. Let me apply the color blend mode on the color group and there is our original. Pretty awesome. Let me double check. If I turn on and off these two layers and compare it with the original, no change, they are the same. Now that we have our image back from a color and a luminosity layer, let's try some adjustments. The cool part is now that we can target our adjustments to the luminosity or to the color part of the image. Let me show you what I mean, but first, let's move the original image to the top of the layer stack, so it will be easier to compare later. If I now add an exposure adjustment to the luminosity layer, notice how the image gets darker, but we still keep the colors. If I move the exposure adjustment out of the luminosity layer, and move it to the top of the two layers, so that it applies to the image itself, you see the difference. To have a side-by-side -side view comparison, I'm going to make a linked duplicate of it and move this linked duplicate to the original image. To get the side-by-side -side comparison, I'll add a rectangle and use this as a clipping mask so that the original image with the adjustment is shown on the left. Now, if I turn on the clipped original, we can see the differences next to each other. Because the two exposure adjustments are linked to each other, I can modify one of them and the effect is applied on the luminosity and the original. If you want to know more about linked layers, check the link in the description. You can clearly see the difference. On the right, we still have a lot of color, whereas on the left, we lost colors as they have become darker. Some will say that we don't need a separate luminance layer to achieve this. You are completely right. Let me unlink the blend mode and change the blend mode of the exposure adjustment applied to the original to luminosity. As you see, we get the same effect. However, things get complicated when we change the blend mode of the exposure adjustment in the luminosity layer. For example, let me select the Multiply Blend Mode. I cannot replicate this effect in the original. Changing the Blend Mode to Multiply will have a different effect and probably I would need some additional adjustments. Now the fun part is in the color layer. Let me hide the exposure adjustment and focus on the color channel. By playing with the color layer, we can create quite interesting color effects. How about a recolor adjustment? 
and get that old school Sophia look. Pretty cool. Let me make a linked duplicate and move this to the original image so we can compare. Notice the difference. Because I moved the lightness slider in the recolor adjustment, it affected the luminance in the original. As I change the lightness in the recolor adjustment right now, you can see it has no effect on the color layer. I can try to get a close match, but you have to agree with me that the color layer version is far more superior. We can spice things up by changing the blend mode of the recolor adjustment. For example, let's try soft light. Have a look at the color layer version. That looks really amazing. You can see how nicely the skin keeps its color. Pretty awesome. Let me unlink the blend mode of the recolor adjustment so I can try another blend mode which works very well with a recolor adjustment on a color layer. It is the color burn blend mode. I need to adjust the recolor settings but have a look at that. Looks pretty cool. To finish up the effect and make it more natural I can change the blend range of it so the effect will gradually apply to the color layer. Just amazing. The color layer is perfect for adjustments changing the color. For example, let's try the color balance. I will hide the recolor and add a color balance. Again, for comparison, a link duplicate to the original. I can now adjust the shadow, midtones and the highlights. As I'm moving the sliders, Notice how the color balance on the color layer does a better job, especially for extreme values. Interestingly enough, when the Preserve Luminosity checkbox is checked, it has almost no effect on the original image. Let's move on and experiment with a curves adjustment. Again, a link duplicate for comparison. I'm going to quickly adjust the red channel and the blue channel and we immediately see the differences between the left and the right. The curves adjustment on the color layer gives a different result because it only affects the colors. The luminosity of the image is not affected. The difference gets bigger when we apply different blend modes like multiply or soft light. By separately adjusting the luminance and the color layers of an image, we can apply pretty awesome effects to an image. I hope you liked this video. Thank you for watching and until the next video.